What's up, you guys? My name is Marion with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps are side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are at Saban.com. 10,930 right now, I think. Um, wow, you guys are just the best. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, you help support the channel, which is one of my income streams. So, so uh, thanks so much, single mom and two kids. So it really helps support the dream. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. Sorry, I got a cramp in my leg, man. Um, ow. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay, so I received another channeled in. They're flying in this morning. I've had some really interesting channelings. Um, the two Capricorn readings earlier about the third degree Mason and the weird womanizing low vibrational cops that is obsessed with getting away with true crime, but he's about to be the, the, the true crime. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. This one is equally interesting in my opinion, but um, you know, you may think so, you may not. So, um, just saying, um, if you like to, uh, oh, we went over that. If you want to share my videos, please feel free to share them. Um, it helps support the channel and gets the uh, channel out and, um, and it helps get the messages out if anybody else needs or wants to hear them. Okay. So, um, the channel message I received was, okay. So like I said, I feel it's very equally interesting too. Ow, you guys. Ow, hold on. Okay, so I heard um, a, a feminine energy that is uh, has been performing very heavy period blood voodoo um, rituals. Um, it is about to backfire on her in a very huge way. She is about to get a super obsessive person. Um, lurking after her i heard super obsessive um that was very um prominent um i heard it twice double confirmation super obsessive lurker after her it is um this person is not going to stop this um the sex magic has backfired in a huge way um so you plug it in how it resonates dear god almighty um Whoever this person is, I don't, uh, I don't wish ill upon anybody. I just don't because um, what you, the thoughts you put out in the universe, what you say out in the universe, what you do out in the universe, it will, it always energetically, karmically backfires on you um, in a positive way or, or a negative way. What you put out, you get back either instant gratification or down the line, positive or negative, And that's just the truth. Um, I, I have learned that the hard way <laughs> through life at times, but it has made me a stronger, better person for sure, for sure, um, for sure. And, um, and that's just the truth. Um, you know, everybody lives and learns, but I will say I have never, ever, ever done black magic every day in my life, ever. Have I gossiped about people, um, in a negative sense? Have I lied on people? Yes. Do I do it now? No, no, no. Um. Now, I will speak the truth. I will speak the truth about a situation. Um, gossip can be true, um, truth or slander. Now, I will truthfully tell you things, but I will not lie. <laughs> I have learned that the hard way um, over time and maturity and things like that. Um, I just, I won't do it because I know how the laws of karma work. And have I ever performed black magic every day in my life? No. No, dear God, no. Nor do I want to because... Once um, crazy crap started happening to me, like in 3D real time a couple years ago, it scared the hell out of me so bad. I realized I knew black magic was a thing, but I was never interested in doing it. And I have, for me, my genetics, my ancestors are heavy voodoo people. They just are heavy uh, voodoo practitioners, heavy voodoo blood um, for me and my ancestors um, and my genealogy. And that's just the truth. Uh, you cannot change your genealogy, your bloodline, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I accept that and I love that. 
But I also had the free will to use my powers for good or evil. And I choose to use mine for good. And that's the truth. Um, so whoever this is, they love the black magic man. They love the black magic. And um, it's a femme energy. And I didn't hear a sign, at least not yet. Uh, maybe hopefully I will in here. But she performs or did she either performs now or did perform heavy period blood spells. Now, I'm not familiar with, I have heard of period blood spells. Have I researched them? No, but I know they exist. Um, but she, I don't know if that's her forte or she just got really deep into it. But some kind of um, sex magic on the dark side with period blood spells. <laughs> so, but I heard it has backfired on her. And dark arts always backfires. Either some readers say don't, but it just doesn't make sense not to. It does, either a little bit or a lot energetically in the law for the laws of physics it has to backfire um either in a good or a bad way and black magic was bad so obviously it would backfire in a bad way a little bit or a bad way a lot this way it's a lot i heard heavy obsession somebody is about to become very or they either are or have become very 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 heavily obsessed with this person and i heard this person is not going to stop the obsessive person they're not going to stop so it makes me wonder her lurking um and heavy obsession um so it makes me wonder if this is going to be um uh, like some kind of something we're going to see on true crime tv down the line is what i'm saying and i'm serious um i heard they're not going to stop so i hope it doesn't result in um a death or something i didn't hear it, did, it was going to um but it makes me wonder if it's going to this person is not going to stop. The black magic has backfired so bad. It's backfired energetically on this obsessive person. And now they're coming. That all they can think about is this person that has done this dark arts, this period blood spells. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're energetically just coming, 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 coming. They're, I heard they're not going to stop. So it makes something's going to happen. Um, I'm assuming something's going to happen. I didn't hear it was going to, but if this person is not going to stop, it makes me want, I mean, something's going to have to happen to make it stop is what I'm saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates? Dear God Almighty. Let's see if I hear anything else. Oh, my Lord. Actually, I feel guided to get the energy for some reason. Energy deck. This dark arts practitioner is about to get so freaked out. They're about to go to a very, 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 very high level person. Travel in to the city. To try to get a hex removed. They think it's a hex, but it's not. It's going to make it worse. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so this is a dark arts practitioner. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, uh, it's a femme energy, dark arts practitioner. But um, they think they have a hex on them. But I heard for the spiritual realm, they don't. They don't have a hex. It's basically the dark arts backfiring their period blood spells and period blood spells and period blood spells backfiring energetically into the universe onto this obsessive person because they've done so much sex magic and dark period dark arts blood spells and all kinds of crazy shit that is backfired on them in the form of an obsessive obsessive person that's not going to quit um on them and of course they don't like that but i heard they're about to get so freaked out this dark arts fem dark arts practitioner I heard they're about to travel into the city to a very it sounds like a very well-known high level practitioner um i'm assuming ranking above them to remove that remove the hex they think they have a hex on them but i heard it's actually going to make it worse it's not going to make it better because it's not a hex it's not a hex on them it's their dark arts backfiring on them they don't um they obviously don't understand the laws of karma and the laws of the universe and energetic laws here um they think it's a hex but it's not so they're gonna i'm Whoever they're going to, it's somebody definitely higher above them. I'll tell you that. Um, this person wears glasses. 
very, very, very skilled practitioner. They're going to see right through this person. Going to wash their hands of it. Oh my Lord, wow. Okay, so you might watch my channel too, maybe a um, high level person or not. I don't know. I'm pulling you in very heavy for a reason, but it might be because of this person. So you want uh, all, maybe all you guys watch, maybe you don't. I don't know. You are very, very, very high level in the spiritual realm. Um, I don't know if you're high, uh, dark arts or um, white light arts, or maybe you're a mixture of both. I'm feeling you might be a mixture of both. Um, very, very high level person. I'm serious. I think you might be a high level. Um, I think you're a mixture of both is exactly what I think. Um, and you can, I just want to point this out. You can, everybody has dark and light traits about them. They have shadow sides and they have, um, they have shadow sides and they have good sides. Every single person, their energy. It's how you choose to grow and manifest yourself. So, you know, you can know about dark arts and you can know about light arts, but what are you choosing to do with what you know, your knowledge and your skills and your abilities? I think that's what's going on with this person is what I'm saying. Um, so they, I think they're very knowledgeable in both fields. Um, very. I, I, this person, I'm sure this person is about to pay a shit ton of money to go to this person because whoever this is, you, it sounds like you have to pay a shit ton of person uh, money to go to this person, but it sounds like for good reason. Um, if that makes sense, this person sounds very knowledgeable, very, very, very knowledgeable, very, 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 very knowledgeable, very, yeah. This person does not sound like somebody to play around with. This person knows this. This person knows this. Um, but I heard this person is going to wipe their hands of it. They're going to see right through this person and they're going to wipe their hands of it. They're going to wipe it clean. So now I didn't hear specifically what's going to conversation or what's going to occur between this but i do know this person is going to wipe their hands up they're going to see right through this person so this person this person them energy dark arts spiritualist over here is going to go for help to this person um i'm thinking voodoo voodoo um practitioner or just a um i didn't hear specifically what this person is but she um she lives in a city. It's a feminine energy. She lives in a city. She has a glass. She wears glasses and she's very, very skilled in her craft. I think she, um, she's a spiritualist. She's a spiritualist in some shape, form or fashion. Now I don't, um, other than that, I'm not sure is what I'm trying to tell you, but she does live in a city. She lives in a city and she's very well respected in her realm. I'll tell you that very well respected. Um, and, um, she don't mess around. And she's highly intuitive, I'll tell you that. Um, but she's going to see right through this freaking situation, right through it. She sounds like kind of like my kind of person because she has high discernment and high intuition. Um, she knows when to get involved. She knows when not to get involved, if that makes sense. Um, whoever she is, she wears glasses and um, older lady. Older lady. Man, I'm pulling her in strong. Holy crap. Older lady. So older lady that wears glasses, very high level in the spiritual realm. Um, I think, I, like I said, I think she has knowledge on um, dark and light sides, if that makes sense. Um, she's not somebody to be messing around with in the spiritual realm or in the 3D. And I'm just serious. Older lady with glasses and um, uh, spiritual realm. Tight S type activity. So I don't know if she's going to tell this dark art spiritualist that it's not a hex or she's just going to or not tell her. Um, and um, maybe she maybe she's going to turn her away. Um, if I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. Oh, this is so deep. But this person should have never got themselves involved. They should have never got themselves involved with this shit knit. Because now they've got a damn lurker coming after them. They have got a lurker. I heard it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop, man. This older feminine energy is going to deliver some very important information. 
to someone else in her city soon about this feminine dark art spiritualist. It's going to create negative series of chain of events for her. She is going to be pissed. Turning away. Turning away. Turning away. Okay, so you, ma'am, I'm pulling you in very strong. Um, you may watch, you may not, but I'm pulling you in very strong. But you're older, you have glasses, um, you're a very skilled practitioner. Um, my hat's off to you. Um, you, I can feel you. I can feel you. You are very high level here. Very high level. I would not want to mess with you in the spiritual realm or otherwise. Um, but um, I heard you're going to, um, you're going to create negative series of chain events for her. So I don't know if you're going to refuse her services or if you're going to take the money and do what you can do. And it's not going to be much. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like after y'all get done with your session or if you were turn her away, refusal of service, however that resonates for you, um, you're going to create negative series of chain events for her by communicating with other people in your city. I heard refusal of service. So I think she's going, I think you might turn her away, refuse service for her or take the money and just do what you can do, which is, doesn't sound like much because she doesn't have a hex, I heard. I heard she did it to her own damn self. Um, and then create the negative series of chain events by communicating with other connections you have out in your city and refuse um, to have them refuse her service, basically. It sounds like she has really attached some dark, negative, evil entities of her ass willingly. It's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like she has willing, free willingly attached some crazy ass shit upon her. And now she's in a deep She's in some deep shiznit with some crazy lurker ass, obsessive person. Her, hopefully this person doesn't harm her, but hell, we just don't know. Um, but she did it to her damn self with all this sex magic and um, period blood spells and all this shit. That basically she created the bed and now she doesn't want to lie in it. But nobody can help her because she did the shit to herself. So, um... It's, I heard you're going to wipe your hands of it. So I think you might refuse service is what I'm thinking. But you, only you know your story, ma'am, uh, whoever you are. You plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Um, but you're going to create other negative series of chain events, I think, with your connections in your city. I think with other spiritualists um, or other people like you, other spiritualists. Um, I think you might communicate with them and tell them the situation and they might refuse service. It's, my deductive logic reasoning on that, I, I cannot say for sure, but that is what I am thinking here because I heard refusal of service. So I think you're either going to refuse her service or you're going to create a series of chain events for other people, uh, your other connections in your city to refuse her service is what I think. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. However that resonates, um, I wouldn't want to get involved with that either. Uh, and I'm serious, ma'am, whoever you are. Uh, whoever you are, you are very... Skilled. I can feel it. You're very skilled. Um, this feminine energy, heavy cancer placements, is going to communicate with the feminine si energy outside her city that she is aware of soon. It's going to open up communication. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. So I'm pulling you in so strong. I was pulling these two crazy wackadoos in. I'm pulling you in very strong though, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, you have heavy cancer placements, whoever you are, your fem, older fem energy, you have cancer, uh, heavy cancer placements. So two plus cancer placements um, is what I'm presuming. You live in a city um, in some shape, form or fashion. And um, I think you might live in Louisiana is my productive, um, not productive, my presumptive logic reasoning. Guess, guess my, I think you might live in Louisiana, stay in Louisiana, possibly. Um, I didn't hear that you did, but um, if you live in the United States, I'm thinking Louisiana. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but you plug it in how it resonates. But um, if you do or don't, I'm not sure, but you have heavy ca cancer placements, I'll tell you that. Um, it might be a city, I don't know, I didn't hear where, I didn't hear where. But um, 
if you're in the United States, I'm thinking Louisiana. Um, or you might live in another country. But however that resonates, um, you're about to open up communication with another fem energy outside of your city, I heard. Um, and it's going to create communication between you and her. Um, soon, it sounds like. Sounds like after all of this. Sounds like after this visit from this person that seems to think they have a hex on them, but they really don't. Um, and the communication you communicating out with the other people inside your city, um, I think, to make them aware of the situation. Um, possible refusal of service from them to her or you refusal of service to her, however that resonates. But you, it sounds like you, ma'am, are going to open up communication to another fem energy outside of your city. It sounds like free will in it. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates. We have carrying connections for first, number 14, could be very significant number of one's life, number 14. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible um, green card number, possible jersey number, uh, possible um, et cetera, et cetera, number 14, carrying connections for first. This older feminine energy is not going to have any empathy for this situation because she knows this feminine energy has really done this upon herself. And she has. It's going to cause her to communicate with another feminine energy outside her city. And it's going to piss off this other feminine energy very much. Wow. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so you, ma'am, um, this reading turned to left. Quick, quick. I didn't realize we were going to pull you in so strong. But we are. We are pulling you in very strong. Um, I feel you might watch, possibly. Um, but however this resonates, I heard you have no empathy for this situation. You have no empathy for this situation because you know this person, this dark art spiritualist, basically dug a grave, dug a bed. Well, not a grave. They dug their own bed, basically, and now they don't want to lie in it, basically. They did all this crap to themselves, but now they don't want to take responsibility, basically, is what I'm gathering from this. Um, and you're highly intuitive, and you know this crap, so you don't have empathy for it. And absolutely, I don't blame you, ma'am. I don't, because this is a hot mess express, but they caused this hot mess express to themselves, this dark art spiritualist, femme energy spiritualist. Um, so you don't, you don't have any empathy for the situation, ma'am. Um, but in all fairness, they did it to themselves. Um, you might have warned them in the past. Um, there was definitely warnings there. Definitely, definitely many warnings. They were not heeded. There were definitely warnings there. Many warnings. They were not heeded. Okay. So I heard there were definitely warnings there. So you might have warned her in the past. I'm feeling you might have warned. I didn't hear specifically you did, but I heard there were definitely warnings there, many warnings, they were not heeded. So either you warned her in the past not to do this shit, or somebody else did, or maybe your connections warned her, or maybe you all did. But however that resonates, she was definitely warned many times in the past not to do it. She didn't listen. So now, since she didn't listen, all this crazy shit's happening to her, and now she wants you to fix it. But she was warned, either by you or your... Um, connections or other people and she didn't listen so i mean i get it i get it but i heard you were but but you were going to create your own series of chain events ma'am and connect with somebody outside your city so and i heard this person is not going to want you to there's a reason they don't want you to connect with this feminine energy outside your city um now whatever reasons that is you have to plug in your own life how it resonates but um you plug in how it resonates but you have no sympathy for this situation and I don't blame you. And I, I think once you communicate without your uh, communicate out to your connections, they're not going to have sympathy for the situation either because of her refusal of service. So this situation is, there's not going to be sympathy there, or empathy, because this person's been warned many times not to do it. They didn't listen. Many shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this situation. This person will not give up. They will not. It's going to turn out very disastrous. Oh my God. I heard, oh my God. I heard many shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this situation. So this lurker, stalker, obsessive 
this person is under a sex magic spell, but it's this person that has boomeranged it back onto this person uh, with all this period blood magic, basically. Um, so this person is under such heavy sex magic, dark arts, period blood spells that this person has boomeranged back onto them. They're not going to give up. I heard they're not. And it's going to create many negative series of chain events. Something is going to become disastrous. So I don't, whatever disastrous is, um, I don't know. But um, hopefully they don't force themselves upon this person or maybe it becomes violent or something. But something in this situation is going to become disastrous in some shape, form, or fashion. Um because this person is not going to give up. They're not. Because they are under such heavy dark arts and sex magic with the period blood spells and period blood spells and period blood spells. They're they're under such trance that they're not going to quit, basically. Um, oh, my God. And that could be the carrying connections reverse, too. Because they are so entranced with this person that it's just going to... It's like... Um, they're under a trance. They're under a trance. It's like they're not even thinking in their right mind because they're under such heavy dark arts, basically. Um, but it's because this person put it there and now they're all like, help me, help me. But they did it. To, they did it. So, I, my good God. Um, I've been warning and warning and warning on here for years that black magic always backfires. People don't like to listen to me. Um, maybe this person watches my channel. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. I feel they may. Hopefully now you will understand that black magic backfires. <laughs> oh, man. Spirit messages are everywhere. Okay, I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. I, I didn't. Um, yeah, we have walking away reverse. Number 27 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 27 could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, lottery number, um, jersey number, number 27, walking, walking away reverse. Um, I think this is the energy of um, this obsessive person um, that's so... They're, they're in trance under a freaking spell. I feel it's a voodoo spell. I feel it's a, I didn't hear it was, but I feel it's some kind of, um, if it's not voodoo, it's something dark arts related. Um, just saying for real, for real. It is something dark arts related to where it involves period blood. I will tell you that. Um, and they are so, it, they're not in their right mind. They are not in their right mind. They are not walking away because they are so drawn sexually to this person. I hope it doesn't result in rape. Um, and I didn't hear that it was going to. But something's going to become disastrous. Um, this person's not interested. Um, I think they were trying to, this person was trying to put it on somebody else, I think, and it backfired onto this person, is what I think. And I'm serious. Um, but this person's not going to walk away. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is crazy. Let me see if I hear anything else. Whew. We have the thinking woman on the bottom of the deck. Let's see if I hear anything. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. There's about to be a very significant meeting soon regarding this dark art spiritualist. Neg 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 oh, I think can't say it. I can I hear it and I know what it is, but I can't say it. Negligent negligent um, dark art spiritualist. There, uh, there's about to be a meeting soon about this negligent dark art spiritualist. Is what I just heard. 
is this person, this dark arts negligent, dark arts spiritualist. They um, they're negligent. They um, abuse their powers. I mean, they I mean, so much so they have got a damn stalker lurker coming after them. There, this lurker is not walking away. It's going to become disastrous. It hasn't yet, but it, it sounds like it's going to. I mean, we have walking away reversed with the spiritual downloads. It is not going to quit because they they they're not in their right mental facets to make it quit. If that makes sense, they don't have control over their thoughts because they've got so much heavy dark arts on their crap on their butt. But this person put it there. Um, but there's about to be some kind of meeting about this ne negligent dark arts spiritualist. So maybe, ma'am, I'm been pulling you in. Maybe you're going to have the meeting with your connections or with other people or with somebody because you're very significant in here about this negligent dark art spiritualist or maybe somebody else is about to have a meeting about this negligent dark art spiritualist with this stalker, lurker um, person. I mean, I all, almost feel sorry for this person. In fact, I do kind of feel sorry for this person because they're truly not in their right mind. They are not in their right mind. They're not. But they're not because this person put them there. This person put them there. Um, so I really honestly feel sorry for this person because they don't know what they're doing. It's almost like um, it's almost like when you go into the court of law and you claim uh, what what is it? Um, you know, people do it all the time to lessen their sentences and all that crap. But this person truly is that. What is it called? Um, uh, I'm not on live, so y'all can't tell me what it is, but um, men mental incapacity or mental instability, it's when you claim um, you were not in your right mind uh, when you committed a crime or whatever. Um, whatever that term is called, I can't think of the actual legal ace term right now, um, but not in your right mental state or right, not in your right mental capacity or whatever, you know, when you claim that, go into court of law and claim it to lessen your sentence. It's like this for this person right now, but it's because of voodoo, magic. Well, I can't say voodoo. I didn't hear voodoo, but I do feel strong voodoo vibes in here. I'm not going to lie. I do. Um, but it's because of dark arts and people don't give enough credit to dark arts in the world. They just don't. This is a good example of that. This person knows not what they do because they're not in their right they're not <laughs> they're not in their right mind doing it because they're under such a damn trance um evil entity sharing has completely backfired evil entity what the hell is that evil entity sharing let me look that up evil entity sharing has completely backfired I don't know what that is. Now, I know what evil entities are, you know, like incubus and succubus entities when people conjure them up and attach them to themselves. Those are evil entities. Uh, evil entity um, sharing. Oh, my God. This, this sounds complex, man. This person is really into some complex shit. I'll tell you that. This, whoever this person is, you could know this person, be connected to this person. You might be the one about to have a meeting about this person. Somebody's about to have a meeting about this person. This person is out of control with their um, dark arts. Whether it's uh, whatever the hell they're doing. Well, it's period, period blood magic spells, I'll tell you that. Sex magic, they're really heavy into. Um, they could be um, a um, succubus, um, their femme energy. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Evil entity sharing. I'm not seeing it on here. Um, I, I, I Google search evil entity sharing. I'm not seeing it pop up, but I'll tell you what I think it is. Okay, so evil entities are like um, incubus and succubus spirit, spirits, right? So evil entity sharing would be sharing the evil entities, uh, whether it's an incubus, succubus spirit attachment, you know, that the incubus and succubus attaches it to, to themselves to uh, draw in um, people for, um, sex, um, sexual relations for sex sharing, um, and not sex sharing, um, drawing in the evil, um, 
throwing in the evil entities, the uh, incubus and succubus evil entities or whatever, to make them sexually attractive to where people want to have sex with them because sex um, sex is one of the biggest forms of energy sharing. That's where I was going with that. Um, so evil entity sharing, um, I think they were trying to maybe um, transfer um, maybe their incubus or succubus entity spirit onto them, possibly. Um, I don't know. I didn't hear any of that, but I heard evil entity sharing. It's not popping up on Google search. I'm sure people don't search evil entity sharing. <laughs> But that's what I heard. So I think they were trying to transfer something. I think they were trying to transfer responsibility. Um, maybe. Um, and it's backfired onto maybe as a, a psycho person. Um, this is wow. This is something. Oh my God. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Now, I will tell you, um, half of this reading, I, like, the especially the last five minutes, I don't know what the hell Eagle and City Sharing is, but I can, I don't know, because I don't practice on the dark cards, but I'm pulling this in for a reason is what I'm saying. So, I feel very unfamiliar territory with this evil entity sharing is what I'm trying to say. I have no clue what this is, but I can tell you what I think it is. And I think this person doesn't like to take responsibility or not this person, um, not this person. This person doesn't like to take responsibility. Um, they don't. Um, it doesn't sound like for hardly anything in their life. It sounds like they like to cause chaos and drama and strife upon others, but they don't like to take responsibility once they make their bed and it's, um, they're lying in it and they want to get out now because they, they don't like it there. Um, and they want to go find greener pastures, but they've created a whole bunch of chaos, basically. So I'm thinking the evil entity sharing is maybe them trying to transfer some of their negative energy or negative um, doings on this somebody else, possibly this person or somebody else, and it has backfired in the form of this possibly and i feel it might have to do with um succubus energy because it is a femme energy um, i definitely she does period blood spells um really heavy into it she um sex magic so she definitely i feel she definitely has a succubus spirit attached to her uh, for sure um for sure for sure um i didn't hear she did but that's my deductive logic and reasoning on this um, so maybe she was trying to transfer her succubus spirit, possibly, with the evil entity sharing. I don't know. All right, you guys, I'm getting off of here. I was almost 40 minutes in this reading, but holy crap. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and namaste.